Isom Phillips here, and in this video, we'll talk about how to power your Canon M50 camera with these inexpensive Sony NPF batteries. So let's get started. In my last video, I talked about how to use this RACIP DC coupler or dummy battery and USB cable to power your camera through a power bank, and you can check out that video here. In this video, we'll be talking about using the same coupler or dummy battery and USB cable to power your camera with these inexpensive, long-lasting Sony NPF batteries. If you have any small LED lights or an LED panel, chances are you probably already have at least one of these Sony NPF batteries. If not, you can pick them up pretty cheap on Amazon, and I'll leave a link below in the description. They come in different sizes and capacities, from the small NPF 550 to the large NPF 970. To convert the power of these batteries into power for your Canon M50, you'll need, of course, the dummy battery and the USB cable and this ingenious little device called the Power Junkie, manufactured by a UK company called Blindspot. The Power Junkie is made of plastic, but it's a lightweight, strong, very durable plastic, and it has three mounting options. There's a quarter 20 thread on the bottom, there's two holes for a zip tie, and there's also a cold shoe mount. The bottom of the Power Junkie is made from a rubberized material that won't scratch any surfaces, and it allows you to screw something very snugly into the quarter 20 thread without breaking anything. The NPF battery slides onto the top of the Power Junkie, and on the side of the Power Junkie, there's a power indicator telling you just how much power remains on your battery. Very convenient. The Power Junkie has two USB ports and one DC cable port, and that is for Blindspot branded dummy batteries. Blindspot makes dummy batteries for a variety of cameras, but they don't make one for the Canon M50. So to use the Power Junkie with the Canon M50, you'll need to use the RACIP DC coupler or dummy battery and USB cable and plug that into one of the USB ports. I love using this Power Junkie because of its ease of use and versatility. Not only can it power your camera, but at the same time you can use it to charge your phone or power a light or any other camera accessory that uses a USB cable and just about everything does. You can also recharge the battery with the Power Junkie. There are two inputs on the side, one with a USB-C input and another with a mini USB. And the USB-C cable is also included with the Power Junkie. Just keep in mind that if you're going to be powering your camera along with another accessory such as charging your phone or a light or any other USB accessory, that you would probably want to go with the larger NPF battery such as the 970, just to make sure you have enough power. Since the race of cable is three feet long, cable management can be an issue when you're powering your Canon M50. That's why I use one of these bongo ties to keep it neat and organized. Now I haven't tried this myself, but I've heard that some people just stick the power junkie into their pocket if they're using one of the smaller batteries and they're on the go. Probably the best and easiest way to mount the power junkie to your camera is with one of these cold shoe adapters. It just screws into the quarter 20 thread on the bottom of the power junkie and then just slides into the hot shoe on your camera. Since the power junkie is so light and small and compact, it doesn't take up much space and it doesn't add that much weight to your camera, even with the battery connected. The Power Junkie can also be used as an alternative power source in the event of a power outage. You can use it to charge your phone and any other household items. Just make sure you always keep some NPF batteries charged and ready to go at all times. If you decide to get this Power Junkie, it sells for $60 on Amazon. That's 60 US dollars. And the RACIP DC coupler or dummy battery, along with the USB cable, sells for $22. So that's a total of $82, but I think this gives you an incredible amount of versatility to power your camera, as well as other devices. And it can allow you to shoot with your camera for hours at a time without changing batteries. If you have any questions or comments about the Power Junkie, leave them below in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer them. If you got value from this video, give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And don't forget to click on the bell notifications so you won't miss future videos. Thanks for watching everyone. Be safe. We'll see you in the next video.